hi guys welcome to the tutorial so i'm going to show you if you've got a message that says intel management engine firmware so let me just switch on the laptop now for a second and show you this message so this message pops up when you power on the laptop this means you have got a corrupted bios firmware so what you need to do, you need to flash new firmware onto this laptop, well onto your laptop. So I'm going to show you the process of how to do it. So head over to Google and type in your maker model of your laptop slash PC. So this works on PC too. So I'm going to type in this maker model and then at the end of it put drivers you click on the first link make sure it's official HP site now select your OS system so what I'm gonna do is select the OS so it's got Windows 11 now I put a fresh installation of it so here too if you put windows 10 then likewise put windows 10 so this message will pop up this is where you need to go all drivers so what we're looking for is the bios firmware so this is the whole list of drivers there is i'm going to show you guys just in case you need to install other drivers but the drivers we need is at the very top and I'm going to show you just in a sec. I'm just going to show you what there is here. So this is the BIOS here, BIOS system firmware. So we need to flash the firmware. So what you need to do, click on the first link and then, sorry about this pop up, it's annoying. So click on that bit there and then wait for it to download. It's quick by the way, it's, it's about 20 megabytes the software the firmware so once that's downloaded on, onto your desktop you click on the link make sure your power cord is on otherwise it's not gonna work so look this is the driver guys so this is your power cord make sure it's plugged in all times when you update the driver so what we're going to do now, we're going to double click and we're going to flash the firmware. So if you've got corrupted BIOS, but in this instance, the Intel management engine firmware is corrupted. So this is what you need to do is just follow the procedures to flash the firmware, the whole BIOS actually, and then it, it will update to the latest firmware. So look, I'm going to show you now. It's very outdated, by the way. And this is the new version. See, HP firmware update and recovery. So I click on next. Next. And then just wait for the process to complete. Windows is going to restart. It's going to take some time. So you can watch this video or you can forward it to the very end bit. So the laptop's going to restart now with this error message again because the new flash, the new firmware hasn't been flashed yet. So it should pop up in a minute. Yes, can you see? So it's still got that corrupted message. So you press enter. And now the process of flashing the whole firmware is in process. Yes, yeah? so it's going to be a new system BIOS update. So it's up to you guys right now if you want to watch the video or fast forward it. I'm trying to fast forward it as much as possible but I want to show you guys what the steps are
So this is the last bit of the installation. Now it's going to boot to Windows 11 without error message. Issue rectified. Right guys, so please like and subscribe to the channel. And please check out my other videos too. It has successfully updated and flash the firmware so it's completely flashed it with new firmware the latest up-to-date version 2 so guys uh, yeah if you've got a corrupted BIOS or you've got that message the Intel management error then that's what you need to do okay very simple if this video has helped you please like the video and please, please, please consider subscribing to the channel.